Hi everyone, I'm Kishara Chisholm and welcome back to my channel Kishara Creates and I am back to give you guys another simple and easy um, painting tutorial. So today we are going to just do a lovely vase with some yellow lilies and some red roses. Um, if this is your first time joining me today, please make sure that you like, share, and subscribe. That way you don't miss any of my future tutorials. So let's go ahead and get started. So like usual, um, we're going to get started with our primary colors. Um, so we've got some yellow, some red, some blue. I also like to use um, green, of course, black and white as well, because I like to mix my own colors. And I'm just going to go ahead and start with my flat brush, my one inch flathead brush. And for this background, um, I'm going to do mostly a light gray and then the base of the table I'm going to do a darker gray. I think I'm going to do some streaks of maybe some red or some pink in the back of the gray just to give a little bit of color to it and then we're just going to put our vase on top of it and all that fun stuff. So we're going to just go ahead and get started with some white paint. Um, since we are just going to do a gray for the background I'm just going to go ahead and start putting the white paint onto the canvas. I'm dipping my brush into some water and just diluting it some. And throwing it right onto the canvas. It's just white paint. I'm just throwing it a little bit everywhere. And then we'll go and put the black paint over top of that. And start to blend to get our nice gray tone. All right, and don't forget your sides and the top of your canvas as well. So nothing too exciting so far. I'm just putting white paint on the canvas. All right, get a little bit more water on my brush. I'm just gonna grab some black. See, I didn't even really cleaning my brush off or anything. I just dipped it into some water to saturate it some more and put some black paint on there. And I'm just gonna throw some black paint onto the canvas. The same like we did with the white and make sure we get the size and the top also. And I typically do my background tones Kind of like this because I like to have the different color variations, um, the different strokes of color in it. I don't like it to just be one solid shade. But if you prefer, you could mix um, whatever gray tone you would like and just do a whole solid color without any color variation in it if you wanted to. All right. I'm going to pick up my cup with my water in it. And just start to blend out some of these areas. What I like about acrylic paint is that it dries very quickly. The only downside to that is that you want to paint fairly quickly as well. So I'm just trying to blend a nice background color. So. You do want to make sure that you don't have any areas of your canvas poking through the background. But as of right now, I just want to get a nice shade and then we can go back and touch up any areas if we need to make them lighter, darker, anything like that. Do not forget the sides and the top of your canvas. You can always go back and touch it up if you need to, but especially since we're not just doing a solid shade since I'm kind of blending onto the canvas. I like to just get it done while I'm doing it. That way I don't have to go back and try to mix everything over again. And see, I'm just spreading some of this paint out. Our vase with our flowers is gonna cover up a good portion of this background anyway. It's just nice when you paint to have a base coat or a base layer because painting is all about layers. So, especially because we're doing yellow lilies, yellow is a really bright color 
it's pretty transparent when you paint with it. So if we were just going to paint just with the yellow over top of the canvas without any background or anything like that, we would have to do a lot of coats of the yellow before we would get a good solid color saturation. So to avoid doing as many coats as we would typically do, I like to do a base coat. Let me check this side. Get this side nicely blended as well. All right. Okay, I'm liking that. And as you can see, I'm just smoothing out my strokes. I'm doing strokes top to bottom, bottom to top, doesn't matter as long as they're smooth and consistent. You can go from left to right also. You just wanna make sure that your strokes are consistent. You want to move your brush from the top to the bottom. You don't wanna start and stop like this because then you'll be able to see your strokes. Not unless that was a technique or a texture that you were trying to achieve. But, I think that's looking pretty good. I'm not seeing any areas where the background is showing through. Let's add a little bit more white here and there. All right, enough of that. So I am gonna use the yardstick today just to do the base of the table. And I'm not even gonna wait for it to dry before we do that. I'm just gonna get the yardstick. Well, first, let me make a dark gray. So just some black and some white. The more black you use, the darker the gray is gonna be. The more white you add the lighter it's gonna be. I think that's good. I don't want it too dark because I'm actually gonna do the vase black. I don't wanna to add too many other colors with the background or anything. With this piece, because the flowers are gonna be really vivid, we're using yellow lilies and um, red roses. So I want, they to, I want them to stand out, so. We're gonna do the vase black. All right, so got my yardstick or ruler. This is a 16 by 20 inch canvas. That is the size that I prefer to use. However, um, if you use a smaller canvas, then of course you could use a ruler, but since I use this size, I do use a yardstick. So I am going to do a line of demarcation right here for four inches. The same on this side. Then. Voila. Was that the base of our table? That's all we did. Go ahead and bring that line over to your sides also. It just looks more professional. And then like I mentioned before, then you're not trying to go back and add it at the end. So just that same gray we already had. I'm just using that flat brush that we originally had and just going to fill in this area with this darker gray tone to signify the base of our table. And you guys make sure that you leave comments. Let me know um, if you have any suggestions or any ideas of future paintings that you would like to see or any techniques that you're interested in learning or anything along those lines. I would love the feedback. Give me a little bit more inspiration as well. And thank you guys also so much for your support. I truly appreciate it. I mean, I've 
only been doing this for about a month so far and I'm blown away by the amount of support that I've been getting. So thank you guys. I really appreciate it. It just means so much to me and it just makes me want to keep on going and keep creating with you guys and keep sharing all of my wonderful artwork with you all. All right, sorry, I'm making sure my canvas is nice and secure. All right, if it's not 100% perfect, don't worry too much about it because we are going to put um, our flowers and all that good stuff over top of this. All right, so we started, we're going to use the um, yardstick again, just so you know, so you already have it out. And I already dropped it. All right. I'm going to get my flat brush. Oh, excuse me, my round brush. So it's just a small round, rounded edge brush or tapered brush. I'm cleaning it off. And... So... We started the base of our table at four inches. So, let's see. So I'm going to put, this is, like I said, this is a 16 by 18 inch um, canvas. So I'm going to start right here and do a line of demarcation where the eight is, because that signifies, you know, half of 16. And I'm going to make this base six inches. So I'm going to come out to the 11 on this side and to the five on this side. All right. And just added some more water to my brush to dilute it some, just to make it a little bit easier to sketch with. And I'm going to, right at the edge of that, bring it down to the three mark. Do that on this side too. All right. There we go. We've got our table and the beginning of our vase. So I want our vase to come up to mark. Same thing on this side. Bring it up to 12. And if you get any paint on the background, don't worry about it. Acrylic paint is very forgiving. Um, it dries really quickly and literally as soon as it dries, you can pretty much paint over top of it one thing I love about painting it's really forgiving compared to drawing and I'm not going to make this overly difficult I'm just going to give us a square or rectangle um vase so same thing on this side just so it's proportionate but that's it there we go and right now i just want the silhouette i'm not gonna color all this in or anything because we're going to go ahead and start adding our flowers so i'm going to clean this brush off i want to clean it off pretty well because our flowers are going to be yellow and red 
So we're gonna do some really large yellow daisies and we're also gonna do some red roses. So I wanna start with a big yellow daisy here and then do some roses around it and then fill in some more with some more, excuse me, I said daisy, I mean lilies. All right, so I'm just gonna get some yellow. I'm still using that same round brush, just a small, smaller brush. I'm just using some yellow. I'm gonna add a little bit of white to it. See, just yellow and white. And you see I kind of twist into the paint like this. I want it to be kind of diluted. I want it to have a really thin ink-like consistency. Um, that way you can sketch with it easily. Whenever you use white paint too, white paint is a very opaque color, so it's a really thick paint. So you want to thin it out a good amount, especially if you're gonna to try to sketch with it or anything like that. So I'm just adding water to it, diluting it some so it'd be a nice consistency so I can go ahead and sketch out the flowers. That's it. All right, so I know I want the lily to like overlap right here at the top of the vase. So I'm gonna do a circle just to signify the middle part of the lily. And then I'm gonna just start doing my petals. And see, I like to kind of go around and do maybe three first and then start to filling them in fill more petals in around them. All right, I'm just gonna keep that brush. I'm just gonna kind of hold it under here and get another brush. I'm gonna use another flat brush, a little bit larger, but I'm gonna start with some red I'm gonna add just a little tiny bit, a little tiny bit of white to it because I do not want it to turn pink. I just want to lighten it up just a little bit. And I'm going to lay out where I want my first rose to go. And for the roses, I'm just gonna start with a circle and kind of round it out. So it's gonna pretty much look like some U shapes. So right now we've got a lily, a lily and some red U's. <laughs> All right, so same brush that I was using with the yellow. Let's add another lily going off this side. And see, all of these flowers are gonna overlap, overlap the top of the vase, which is why I wasn't too particular about um, the top part of the vase or anything like that. All right, let's add another rose up here. And I'm kind of just playing around with it, add in some areas where I think some lilies would look, where I feel like I need to fill it in some more with some roses, all that good stuff. Let's do a rose over here too, coming off of this side. And for the roses, like you can see, I pretty much just did some U's or some circles or whatever, just to signify where I want them to go. Now, we are going to go in with some green. I'm just gonna clean off that larger round brush that we were using. Just gonna take some of our green. 
I'm gonna add a little bit, just a little bit, very little bit of red to it just to darken it up some. See how that darkens up the green? Let me get just a little bit more. There we go. And I'm just gonna add some petals here or there where I feel like we need to either break up some of the flowers or just add some color complexity. And I'm kind of just playing around with it. I do have a reference picture, but as you can see, I kind of just go off a whim. I just kind of start to look and see where I think the composition might would need a little something extra at. All right. I don't know why I keep so many paint brushes over here when I can't end up using the same brushes each time. I need to stop doing that. I want some of these petals to overlap this rose right here. And I'll add a leaf right there too. All right, perfect. So I'm gonna clean off my small little round brush that we had originally. And I'm going to get some yellow just on its own and some black. And a little bit of red. A little bit more red and a little bit more black. More red, more yellow. There we go, I like that tone. It's almost a really light brown. So I'm gonna go around that little circle that I made in the middle and do little, you see how I'm kind of pushing it out? Almost looks like a, a star around it. And do the same things for this one, make the circle, and then start pushing out to the, the sides of it. Same thing up here, around, and then start pushing out. All right. I'm gonna add a little bit more yellow into that color that we just used. And I'm gonna use this to add some shadows to the petals. You see how much lighter that is just by adding more yellow to it? So, on some of those petals, I'm going to add some of that darker yellow and then blend it in to the middle, going in towards the middle of those petals. See, I started it on the sides and then blending it in towards the middle. All right, do the same thing for the other one. Clean that brush off some. 
And we're gonna start adding some color variation to um, the red of our, excuse me, the red of, <laughs> to our red, um, goodness, I cannot talk, <laughs> to, the, to our red roses as, as well. So we're just gonna grab some red and I'm gonna add a little bit of green to it. So it's gonna give us a deeper red. There we go. And at, I'm gonna do almost a little oval. Well, not almost. I'm gonna do a little oval at the top of each one of these little U's that we made for our roses. Just adding a little oval to the top of them. And come around the side, around the sides of them. And just like we did with the lilies, we're going to push some of that shadow or the deeper shade. We're going to start pushing it out towards the center. So if you going to start pushing the paint out to the middle. All right. And with some of just the plain red that we have, I went ahead and cleaned the brush off. I'm gonna add a little bit of yellow, not too much yellow because I don't want it to turn orange, but I am gonna use some of this yellow to brighten up this red until we get a nice bright shade. And I'm gonna start blending some of that going in the opposite way. So the same way we did, just on the other side, kind of make your line and then blend it in going towards the middle. And going towards the middle. a little bit of that bright red in the center of the little oval that you made at the top too. Let me step back for a second. Oh yeah, I'm already liking this. You know what? I don't think this is going to take us that long. And see, because I really want the yellow and the red to stand out, I did not want to do a whole bunch of colors in the background because I wanted the bright, vivid colors of the red into yellow to really stand out. So, using that same brush, getting it nice and clean, I'm going to go back into my yellow. Add a little bit of red into it. There we go. And on the opposite side of where we did the shadow, cover up that line with that bright yellow and then start to blend it towards the middle of your daisy. I keep saying daisy. Maybe I should paint daisies next time. These are lilies. I think that's a sign that I need to paint some daisies. So maybe next time we'll have some daisies since I keep saying daisy. And see, I just went ahead and did my line first and then I'm blending it into the middle. The same thing that we did with the roses. Just added a little bit of water to my brush because this paint is kind of thick. Just thin it out some. Come on, just a little bit more water. You don't want your um, paint too thin though. You don't want your paint to be dripping water or when you turn it upside down like this. So see, I'm kind of covering up the line where I originally sketched out and then 
pulling that out towards the middle to blend in. And we're gonna do some more layers, so it does not need to be all the way perfect. Painting is all about layers, layering, layering, layering. It's not like coloring where you just can fill in the dots. It takes layers, layers upon layers. All right. And I already need to add some more water to my brush so we can do the same thing for the rest of our lilies. All right, so the same thing up here. Blend into some of those. Just add in some of that bright yellow to the sides and then pushing it in towards the middle. If you cover up any of those darker shades that you did, don't worry about it because we're going to keep adding more layers to this. All right, so let's let the flowers dry a little bit and we'll go ahead and fill in our vase with just some plain black paint. So I'm just getting the large round brush that we had earlier. Black, is, black paint is pretty thick, just like white paint. So you typically have to thin it out some. And as you can see, I twist my brush into the paint. That way the paint is smooth onto my brush. That way it's gonna paint smoothly onto the canvas. So I'm gonna start by going around the flowers. It's okay if you, or if you cover up any little area, that's fine. Acrylic paint is very forgiving, so if you go over any area that you don't want to, you can wait five, ten minutes for it to dry, and then you can literally paint right over top of that. And nothing fancy is going on. We're just filling it in with black. But you see, you see how thick that is? Even though it's just plain black, we still need to add some water to it. Get it kind of thinned out some so it paints real smoothly. There we go. If you're ever having a hard time pushing the paint around, then that means your brush is too dry or your paint is too thin. Either way, just add some more water to your brush and it should work it out fine. Let me step back. Okay, pretty. I'm just cleaning this brush out really good. I don't want there to be any black in that brush. Now I'm going to make a 
more pastel yellow. So I'm just gonna grab some yellow paint and some white paint to make a nice light yellow or pastel yellow. There we go. That's kind of thick, so let me add some water to that. And see, I even twist off the excess paint too. See, I'm doing it like this. All right, so kind of in the middle of these yellow daisies, I'm gonna do some of this light yellow. And as you can see, I'm kind of wiggling it in the middle. Just pushing it down and kind of wiggling it in the middle. I think I want to make this petal a little bit larger. I'm going to go back with some of that brighter yellow over top of that. There we go. All right. So, with some yellow, add a little bit of red. And some black. See how that makes a really a light brown shade? I'm kind of tapping into where we originally put that darker shadow for the yellow daisies. Just adding another layer of the shadow. And these flowers are going to be really simple, I'm not making them overly complicated or too difficult. Make some more of that by just a little bit of yellow, some red, and a bit of black. You can see how I'm kind of patting into it like this. step back see what we got going on okay I'm gonna play around with the yellow some more then I actually I think I'm gonna use the blow dryer and dry it off some and then start playing around with the red roses some just because I don't want to play too much with the red and the yellow because I don't want this all to turn into orange so I cleaned off my brush and I'm going to go back in with some of the bright yellow, just the plain yellow and a little bit of white and a little touch of red. A little bit more yellow to that. There we go. See, I twist off the excess just like that. And I'm going to go that same technique that we did the first time where we do the sides and then we blend into it or push it out and towards the middle. That's what we're doing.
So I'm just going around the sides and then pushing the paint towards the middle. And if you feel like you add too much paint in any one area, you can always make the petals a little bit larger or you can wait till it dries some and go right back over top of it and fix it that way. So what I love about acrylic paint is you can let it dry and you can paint right over top of anything. Black, any color, you can paint right over top of it. All right, so I am gonna add some pops of orange in here. So I did not clean the brush off. I'm just going in with some red paint. I'm gonna pull it right over here into that yellow that we had, a little bit more. Add some more yellow to it to make it a little bit brighter. There we go. And in the middle, I'm gonna add some of that to each one of these petals for the lilies. Just to add some dimension of color. And see, I'm kind of doing little swoops or little dabs into the middle of the petals. I'm going to go back to that small round brush that we were using originally when we sketched everything out. And I'm going to get some green. I'm going to add some red to that to get a nice dark green. The more red you add, the darker it will get. If you add too much red, it will start to turn brown. If you feel like you get too much red, then you can always go back with some green and brighten it up. Um, try not to use white unless you want a pastel color. You can also use yellow too to brighten it as well. All right. So right in the middle of those lilies, I did a circle and then I'm gonna do kind of a little line going off towards each one of the little petals for each one of the li lilies. So I'm gonna do the circle in the middle and then a line going towards each one of the petals of the lily. So go around, do a circle for the center and then do a line for each little petal of the lily. Clean my brush off with, well, excuse me, not clean my brush off, saturate my brush down with some more water. And I'm gonna add some of this green to the petals also. I'm just gonna use this color to refine the shape of the petals, to make sure all the edges are smooth. And I'm gonna fill it all in with this color too. So I'm just using this green to refine the shapes of the leaves. So I'm going around the corners of the leaves first. And then I'm filling it up with that green also. And see, this is just helping me to where I can see Oh, I should add a little bit some bit right here or there or wherever. Helps the shapes to stand out some more. So 
helps you to see the composition better, all that good stuff. make a little bit more of that green so just add some more green into what we had adding a little bit more red to it and some yellow and I'm just smoothing out the shape of the leaves and filling it in with the rest of that color. All right, let me take a step back. Come together. All right. I'm gonna clean this brush off. We're gonna use this same brush. So I'm actually gonna put some touches of pink into these red roses so i'm just gonna get some red i'm not gonna do a really light pink but i already need some white paint so let me grab my paint all right so i'm getting some red a little bit of white And I'm making a pink, but not too white. There we go. And in the center of these, I'm going to kind of see how I'm wiggling my brush back and forth like this. I'm going to do that for each one of these red roses. I'm going to put a little bit of that pink in the center where that oval is that we made initially as well. I'm going to clean that off. Then I'm going to get some more red and make a darker red again by adding some red and a little bit of green. If you make it too dark, then add more red to it to lighten it up or to brighten it up some. There we go. See, I twist, twist, twist into the paint. That way my brush, the paint is fully saturated in the brush and it's loaded in smoothly. So add a little bit of water to that to thin out the paint some, get a really smooth consistency. So just like we did with the leaves, I'm going to smooth out the edge and then push towards the middle. And it's going to start to blend in with that pink that we just put down on there. And a little bit on the other side too. You don't want to cover up all of what we just used with the pink, but you want to kind of blend it together. We're smoothing out the edges just like we did with the, the green with the leaves. And then we're going to push into the middle of these red roses with that. Just defining the shape, smoothing out the shapes of all of the petals right now. And blend in towards the middle. And I'm just kind of blending it in towards the middle where that pink is, blending the red and the pink together. The same thing for this one. I'm going to go around the sides of the rose. I'm 
then I'm gonna push in towards the middle to go towards and blend in some of that pink that we used. So, I just added some more water to the brush so I can dilute this dark red some more that we were using. And I'm going to touch up the little ovals that we did at the top of our roses too. I want the edges to be nice and smooth. So we're going to touch up around those. So we're just making the edges nice and smooth. For the tops of the roses for the little ovals that we made at the top let me step back and look at it some oh pretty okay so i'm going to use some of that pink that we made originally with just a little bit of red and a little bit of white. I did not make a really light pink, just red and white. I'm just going to dilute it some, get it nice and thin. See how I'm twisting into it, making sure the paint is smooth onto my brush. It's always, it also makes it easy to tell the consistency of the paint doing it that way as well. So in the middle of the flower, I'm going to start doing little curves, the little C shapes with this lighter pink. At the tops of each one of these roses. All right, we're gonna clean the brush off some, and we're gonna go right back in with that dark red that we had and do the same thing. So just little curved or C shapes. All right. Clean that brush off again. Let's see. I'm gonna add some more of the pink into the middle of these roses at the base of them right in here. Just kind of wiggling the brush side to side. All right, let's step back again. So I can look at these lilies. All right, so with these lilies, we're going to go in with some of the bright yellow again. I'm gonna add a little bit of that orange that we used. Or you know what? I'll just add some red to it so you guys can see. Just plain yellow and a little bit of red, but still really bright. Thin this out some. Right now, I'm just diluting it. So, I'm going to add a line to one side and then push the paint over till it's the middle. I'm going to make sure that your paint is nice and thin. That way it's really easy to blend with. When it's too thick, it's, it's harder to blend with the paint. There we go. So, 
defining the shape of the lily. So I'm going to go around the edge with that light yellow and blend in towards the middle. And I'm not going around the whole flower petal, just off of the side that's lighter and then blending it in towards the darker areas. And I'm going to do that all the way around because right now we're smoothing out our lines just like we did for the leaves and just like we did for the roses. We're doing that for our lilies too. Adding some yellow to the sides and pushing it in towards the middle. Adding some yellow and pushing it in towards the middle. All right, I'm going to step over to this side. Adding some yellow, defining those lines, adding my yellow, and then pushing it out towards the middle. Adding the yellow on the sides, defining the lines, and then pushing it out towards the middle. So I'm defining the sides first with the yellow, and then pushing it towards the middle. Thing, adding some yellow to the sides, pushing it out towards the middle. Then we are going to play around with the leaves some, and then we're going to do some shadows and highlights with some white and some black. And believe it or not, then we'll be done. So we'll do define some of our lines for this one too. I'm just defining the lines on the sides and then pushing the paint towards the middle to blend in all those color layers that we have done. So defining the line of the yellow petals first and then pushing the yellow towards the middle to blend in some of those petals. Add some more water to my brush. Like I said, acrylic paint dries really fast. It's already drying on my palette and everything. So I have to keep adding water to it. All right, leave that alone for a little while. All right, so I'm going to use some green. We're going to start playing around with the leaves now. So I'm going to use some green. I'm going to add some yellow into it to make a really bright green. And I'm just going to do some strokes around the flowers, or excuse me, around the leaves with that green. See how I'm not filling in the whole thing? I'm just kind of adding some color variation with that bright green.
I'm kind of putting it on the sides and in the middle. And then I'm going to thin that out just a little bit. And I'm going to add some of that into here too, into the middle of our lilies also, where the center part of our lilies are. my brush off and then step back I want to do a pastel green too so I'm going to use that really bright green that we just made with just the yellow and the green I'm going to add some white to it I'm going to add a teeny tiny bit just a really little little bit of blue to it and a little bit more white and some more green some more yellow to it. There we go, I like that. And the same thing, just add some of this color to each one of the leaves. And a little bit up in here where we have the center of our lilies. I did not clean off the brush. I just kind of got it wet, just dipped it in some water. I'm going to add some yellow and make a really bright pale green and add some of that too. All right. If you feel like you added too much of any one shade, you can always go back with a darker shade and darken up any areas to think that you got too light or go back in with a lighter shade and lighten up any areas that you feel like you got too dark. All right, so we are pretty much done. So I'm gonna clean off my round brush again and I'm going to dilute just some white paint, get it nice and thin so we can start doing some highlights with the white, and then we'll finish off with our shadows with um, our black. So I'm gonna start up here at the top of our, the little ovals that we made with our roses, where we started doing those little C shapes. We're gonna do some of those just kind of going in both directions at the top of our little roses. You see how I'm just putting them a little bit here, there, everywhere. Don't go too crazy with it. You don't want to cover up all of the color. All right, now with the lilies, I'm just going to do a little stroke of white along the side of these little petals. And I kind of just play around with it. Wherever I feel like I need some white, I add some. Add in some highlights here and there. Thin out that white paint just a little bit more. 
I'm gonna add some touches of the white into the leaves as well. And in towards the center of our flowers also. Don't go overboard because you don't want to cover up all the color layers that you did. I'm going to do some a little bit down here also for our rose. And we're going to use our black to add highlights also. I mean, excuse me, shadows also. You need to the light shades for the dark to stand out and you need the dark shades for the light to stand out. So we're gonna do the same thing with the black. We're gonna thin it down a good amount with some water. We're using that same round brush. I didn't switch brushes or anything like that. And I'm actually gonna start at the top of the roses first. And I'm going to, I'm not gonna cover or I want to add some emphasis to the little oval that we did at the top of the rose, but I'm not going to just do a whole oval. I'm just going to kind of add some of the black shade towards the sides. And then I'm going to mimic some of those little C shapes that we used. So give some love to the little top parts of your rose with some of the black, do some of the little C shape and add some towards the sides as well. So around the sides. Pull out my paint just a little bit more. Need some more black paint, but make sure it's nice and thin, nice and thin. And you guys, I apologize. I feel like I haven't been talking as much as I usually do, but hey, I'm painting a lot later than I typically do also. So I'm going to deepen up the center of these lilies also by adding some touches of black here and there also. I'm not covering up all of anything that I did. I want you to be able to see all the layers that I did. You don't want to cover up all that hard work that we did with adding all these layers. All right, let's add some touches of black to the leaves also. Isn't that amazing what just adding some black and white does to the painting? All right, and I'm, I'm going to switch to a smaller round brush or more of a liner brush. This is the yellow. I want to use the black to add some shadows to it, but I don't want the black too thick. So I'm going to use a smaller brush or a thinner brush. You see, I'm kind of just adding some wherever I feel like there needs to be some. There's no really rhyme or reason to it. Just wherever I feel like I need to break up or separate any of the colors or where I feel like there needs to be more separation in the flowers. I'm going to use the black to help define some of those areas. All right. 
just a few more then we're going to give some love down here and then we're going to be all done Let me take a step back and just take a quick look at it. Oh, that's pretty. I like that. All right. So believe it or not, down here, we're basically just going to use white. And I'm going to use that larger round brush that we had earlier. Get some white and a good amount of water to thin out that white paint some. And I'm going to come down the sides and do like an L. Pretty much on both sides. I'm just going to add some water and dilute my brush. And I'm going to pull that white paint towards the middle. You see how I'm pulling it towards the middle? And I'm breaking up that line too. I don't want it to just be the straight line. See how I went and pulled the paint out first? See how I'm kind of scrubbing with my paintbrush? I'm just adding white and then blending, blending, blending. I think I'm going to add bright blue or some navy to this by just adding some blue into some of the red and making a navy really dark blue there we go add some of that into the center I'm just going to start to blend it into some of that white. All right, let me take a step back again. And then I'm gonna add some more black on the sides to touch those up and then, then I'm gonna leave it alone. I'm not gonna get too fussy with it. I don't wanna, I can always keep adding, adding, and adding. Especially as an artist, we can always find, oh, I can add some here, I can add this there. So I'm not gonna do that to you guys today. You can see how I'm pushing it out towards the middle and I'm kind of curving my brush do the same thing on this side and then push it out kind of curve it Alright, stepping back again, like I keep saying. And I like that. I'm going to dilute some of this black a little bit more. I want it really nice and thin. And not for the vase, but more so for underneath the table.
All right, and let me take another look back. Like I said, I could always find something, something else to add. All right, I like it, so I'm going to leave it alone. I'm not going to add anything else to it. All right, you guys. So I hope that you all enjoyed painting with me today. Please make sure that you subscribe. That way you won't miss any of my upcoming tutorials. Um, I don't just do flowers and still lives. I do abstract. I do a little bit of everything. So I'm here to teach you guys all about acrylic painting and all about new techniques. All of my painting tutorials are for beginners and they're friendly for all age and experience levels. So please, you guys, Make sure that you engage so that um, you will keep seeing more and more of my videos. Send me suggestions, send me comments, suggestions, all of that great things. Um, and of course, all of my paintings are for purchase. So if you are interested, all of my information will be linked down below. But I'm going to stop talking. I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for joining me. Bye.